Hello everyone, welcome back to Wisconsin Lutheran Chapel and another Friday devotion. We're so happy that you joined us and pray that, that God uses his word to, to bring you strength and comfort. Uh, the passage I'd like to share with you today comes from the Apostle Paul's letter to the Philippians. We'll read from chapter 3, uh, the second half of verse 13 and then verse 14. The Apostle Paul writes this, But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I'm guessing that many of you are aware of the fact that we're, we're kind of in the middle of award season right now. Just this past weekend were the Academy Awards, the Oscars, right? Maybe, like some, you really look forward to that and you can't wait every year to find out who is going to win Best Actor or Best Actress or the, which film is going to win Movie of the Year. Or maybe, like others, you didn't even know it happened because it means very little to you. I have to be honest with you, the only reason I pay attention to the Academy Awards is because then I know which movies not to watch. But there are so many award seasons, awards in this award season, whether it's, it's the Golden Globes or the Grammys coming up or the Country Music Awards or Nickelodeon's Awards. Everything seems to have some sort of award season, so many that maybe they don't even mean as much anymore. Let me ask you a question. If I asked you who won Best Actor in 2018, or which was the best picture of 2018, or maybe who was the American League MVP from 2018, do you remember? They don't really mean a whole lot, those awards, after the night that they happened, do they? Well, you and I as Christians are in award season every single day. We've been given an award, not that we earned ourselves, but a gift from God, a gift of God's grace. The Apostle Paul calls it this, a prize for which God has called us heavenward in Christ Jesus. Isn't that awesome? God has given me and you the greatest award ever. Based on what Jesus has done, we have the forgiveness of sins. We have eternal life with him. Our forever home is heaven. But we aren't there yet. And that's what the Apostle Paul means when he says, this is what I do. I forget what's behind. The past is past. There's nothing you can do to change it. The sins that we've committed in the past, they're already forgiven in the blood of Jesus. The accomplishments that we have in the past, they don't mean anything for our future either. The Apostle Paul gives us this advice, strain for what is ahead. Always look ahead to what is still coming. As we live our lives in this world, God gives us blessings and wants us to enjoy what we have in this world, but he wants something so much better. He wants us to live with him forever in heaven. And as we strain for that, as we focus on what God has given us, as we hear and meditate on his word, God reminds us that we're his, that we are heirs of eternal life and that he's leading us to that heavenly home. The Apostle Paul said it best, you and I have an award, it's the heaven which God has called us to in Christ Jesus. When you see these award seasons, remember your reward in heaven is great through Jesus. Thank you for joining us again for this devotion. Remember, Jesus loves you. We'll see you next time.